I don't even know what we're doing. Are we filming? I Welcome no back to the Duck Call Room. I don't, have we started? I don't know. We ain't started. Welcome back, so Johnny I said, D. no, we ain't started. The numbers ain't rolling. Hey, no, hey, nope, we have started. Hey. Welcome to the podcast room, boys. And hey, here yes. we go. And we've got an upgrade. Hey, we've got audio, boys. <laughs> oh, no. Producers, oh, yeah. audio like guys it. now have hey. noisemakers over I there. I like it. Just uh, so we're all clear, this isn't uh, me. Yes. So I before no y'all before y'all start hey, hating on Johnny speaking D. Speaking of that. Uh, what are we speaking uh, of? Ben Stone was in a in the deer stand yesterday afternoon. How is that speaking of that? Because it was noise. Oh, okay. noise. Oh, yeah. yeah. oh, is this a story we're about noise? We're in the deer stand. I okay? thought you were supposed and to be quiet. we're looking at, first we seen six does and yearlings. They come out. Six when we drove does. up there to let me out, six of them run out of the field. Then we got to sit there for about an hour, and then about five minutes after four, here they came back, the six does and yearlings. But we're sitting there later, okay, and it's getting right near dark, okay? And Stone said, fuck. And it's a nice two-year-old, eight-point, comes walking on the stand. He goes to the rice bran pile, mm -hmm. and then Big Red comes out, and he's a big. Jimmy Red? Three-year-old. No. <laughs> nice, big three-year-old, eight-point buck. Eight points. And he goes over to the rice bran, and then a doe and a yearling come out there, and a spike. And where's the noise? We got five north? of them on the ramp. You know. So then we hear something like, <laughs> Jeez. That's about what it sounded like. I'd never heard that before in the woods. And I looked at Stone and I said, Was what? it that loud? Wait, said, yeah. Time out. What did it sound like? <laughs> you know, and I said, Stone, what in the world was that? I said, I've never heard that in the woods before. <laughs> and he said, uh, <laughs> Well, this is a deer. Avatar. Keep throwing their head up. You know, I think it's some kind of predator. How many times they do it? Huh? They've done it twice. Yeah. So how was it? So then when <laughs> yo, hey, when they actually they done it again, yo, the two bucks took off running and they left. Yo, they left the area. Yo. And I said, hmm, what scared them? And he said, I think it I think it's a coyote. So we're sitting there and look coyote. I threw my binoculars up. He said, Yeah, there he is out in the field. I, th I it was too dark for me to see him. And then I hear boom. Yo, he said I said, well, I know you hit him. And he said, oh, he's laying out there. I got him. Yeah. So he shot the coyote. <laughs> Is that what it was? Yeah. You went and looked yeah. at him? Oh, yeah. We picked him up. Yeah. Did you eat him? No. Yeah. It, was, it was a little female. She's got a bad habit. She goes over when we pour out rice from bran for the deer. She'll come out and drop a load in it. <laughs> no, no, I'm drop serious. Drop a load? Yeah. That sounds like something Willie would do. Use the bathroom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so hey, the little female uh, coyote, she needed shot. Okay, you know, that's true. So yeah, she's just trying, been pitching. We're trying to feed the deer, and she's coming out there telling telling the world what she thinks about feeding the deer. Get you some of this. Okay, yeah, get says, some of this. Okay. The man says she got a bad habit. You put out food, oh, yeah. she goes to drop yeah, we, a load. We broke it of that, though. We broke of that, okay? You but, broke her of everything. She's no longer with us. Well, hey, that's right. Hey, you hey, killed look, the right one. Hey, don't female. mess, with, Good don't job. mess with us feeding their deer, okay? We so think she's just care of her deer. Pitching loads in the rice bran. Hey. And now right, she's dead. Look, that's just one of them things you don't do. It's just don't do. And you said she's young. Oh, yeah. So that fits your, your one of your favorite sayings about, like, young coons. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever they can't eat, they drop a load on. They crap on. That's right. They drop Sigh, a load on. world famous for saying that. <laughs> is, that a, is that true, right. though? What's that? What are you saying? And look, and that, I, that I don't reminds know. me. I ain't never looked at the pile of rice look, bran. I'm no, sure. No, I, I mean, that reminds me of another deer hunt. Me and, oh me and Chad, the nurse practitioner, and his dad was deer hunting in that same stand. Same stand. Okay. Same deer. Deer are not doing it that day. Okay. So we only see what? One yearling and a doe. Yeah. So I, you know, it's getting prime time for the bucks to come out. You know, and I said, hey, look, it ain't going to be much today. Two coons come down the tree and get on the under the corn feeder and start eating the deer corn. Bad move. I told Chad, I said, hey, look, yeah, take them out. <laughs> yeah. so Did he? We had a deer hunt. I mean, we had a, a deer setting for deer that turned into a, a coon shooting. I think I saw, yeah, okay. with a coon skin hat on right after oh, yeah. that. Yeah. Size done taking deer hunting to duck hunting. 
Just well, you got to shoot yeah. something, boy. I ain't been. I ain't been. Boom! Bye! I ain't, boom! Look, wow. I ain't been duck hunting in what two weeks. Well, there ain't no reason. Uh, to. What I know. That's, that's what Mega I'm talking about. Mega gar. Yeah. Yeah. You There's haven't no been ducks. In two weeks. I thought they would kill some this morning because when we left the deer stand last night after dark, okay, you know. He got a text on his phone and said, hey, look, yeah, there's some ducks on the fields next to Phil's property. Yeah. So I thought they'd kill them today. No. Nah, they no. Didn't kill them. No good. I mean, we hunted this morning. Beautiful, perfect weather. Right. I mean, everything you want. Yeah. Except, except ducks. No ducks. Yeah. No ducks. We killed nine mallards, though. So it was well, good. Hey, that ain't bad. No, that's it's a good. good day. Huh? Nine? That's like yeah. that's full limits these yeah. days. Y'all, oh, yeah. y'all, where'd y'all hunt at? Up in Arkansas, right across the line. So it's just hey, you got to go north to kill ducks, north or west. But we got another big front coming that this weekend. No, but it's gonna be cold. Yeah, but and I know you ain't duck hunting either. No, why is it the low as twenty? Oh no, and the high is like thirty eight. That means that means ice. And hey, look, maybe a little snow when there is ice. Oh, I don't mind snow, but when there is ice, hey, I will not be there. You probably ain't even going to get out your bed. Oh, no. I'm, I, I'll be still checking my eyelids. So I'm going to put that QB on the mattress. That's oh, what's going to happen yeah. there. So I'm going to be pedaling in oh, the he's bedroom. Gonna, he's going to call me to bring his QB over to him. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, I did work out the other day with that. Did you? Yeah. And I've done 3,000 revolutions. There you go. On that QB. How much That's do you good. weigh these days? Uh, You're looking good. 174. And it's staying there. Every time I get on it and look. One seventy four. <laughs> well, that's two a, days later. Get on again. One seventy four. Mine's highly variable. Yeah. And I'm, some, I'm telling. You, huh. you know what I've noticed I've about Simon about for two weeks now. Anywhere we go, if he sees scales, he has to go stand on oh, them. Yeah. And if he sees bells somewhere, he has here's to ring them. Here's one of them things. Like even the UPS do. store. Anywhere we go. Yeah, hey. He's gonna ring the bell and he's gonna do. weigh himself. You where, never go to them. a racetrack, a horse racetrack. What? Well, hey, look, they invited yeah, me over. Yeah, y'all heard this story before. Well, no, no, no. Anyway, they invited me over, okay, to take a picture with the one in horse. Well, we're waiting, okay. And, uh, I hope were... that sucker bit you. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, look, we almost we're got waiting. Wrong we're waiting for him to come down and take the picture. You waiting on well, the horse? Hey, yeah, I just the, look the horse I, race is hey, fixing to be over, so we're yeah. down there so I can yeah. be with and them I'm when looking, they put the roses on there's a on scale, them. and I said, hey, I need to check my weight. So, hey, I got on it, you know, and so I slid it over to her. I was talking, and there's a bunch of screaming about, what are you doing? Security, like 10 yeah. security guards oh, no. are Everybody running went, that went side. went berserk for about five minutes. I said, hey, hey, get off the skills. And I said, wait a minute, what are you talking about, son? I said, hey. They said, no, you can't do that. I what? said, why? And they said, you just don't understand. we got to wait the jockeys again. And I said, well, hey, don't worry about it because it's correct. <laughs> 174. He said, you, I said, you don't have to recalibrate it. I said, this thing's right. I, I weigh 133. I said, then that's what it's got. <laughs> and they said, yeah, but you don't. I said, yeah, but no, ain't no yeah, like but nothing. I said, the scales is correct. Don't Why do they it. weigh the jockeys? They weigh them before and, and after. Hey, they walk on the scale with the saddle. Yep. If you can call it a saddle. <laughs> it's a little bitty piece of leather with some stirps. Like a bicycle seat. Yeah. 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 Well, hey, no, it's a piece of leather with two stirps on it. Mm-hmm. And I mean a very thin piece of leather. Okay? Well, they stand the up. They're very little. Yeah, they do stand up a lot. They're light. So they step on it, weigh them with, with it, okay? But then when they, if they win the race, then they got to do it again. Be weighed again. Weighed, weighed again. Why? That's just, just a rule. to make it legal. It's a silly rule, but hey, they do it. They think they suddenly go on like well, yeah, drop 20 pounds? Well, yeah, they think they cheated or? some way, okay? <laughs> way before and after. Well, how, hey. So you can... Uh, but. That's, that's what I don't know. That's the powers to be that run the racetrack, okay? Somebody yeah, knows. All I know is you got to weigh before the, and you got to weigh after. Room. This is one in before and after things. Found it. Weighing in and out. Found it. Up, weighing it in explains. and out. Hey, there you go. Give me one moment. Yeah, Give I'm Give me one moment. He's doing the research. And the drum roll. Oh. How's that? I mean, I'm kind of that way. I like to weigh before I go to the bathroom and when I come out. Sometimes you're, I can lose kidding. up well, to that, a pound and a half. Hey, that yeah. goes with that little female coyote. Hey, then you know exactly what you dropped. Yeah, there you go. There you go, boys. Now, sometimes hey. it's just good to know. It's just one of them things I want to know. Yeah. I don't really understand why they do it still. Uh, he read <laughs> it and he terrible. still, hey, he still I, I told you, it's a silly rule that they had to abide by. Oh, okay. Hey, that got I, it. Okay, so I've got. it for it. Well, here we so go. You, 
so there's a limit. You have to weigh a certain amount because them jockeys are all very small people. Oh, so if you find wait, like, wait, wait. so each horse has got to have like 150 pounds on his back. I mean, right. just just for example. So they so it'll all be even. So yeah. the so the super this tiny people like have to wear then. weights. Do yeah. they really? Yeah. This is not like football. It's then. the opposite okay. of football. Okay, it's the opposite. Okay. Sire, si, right. you ever rode horses in your day? Oh, I loved them. Yeah. I don't trust them. Yeah. Hey, what do you mean you don't trust them? I don't trust a horse. Hey, how do you think we settled the West? <laughs> Brave men. Hey, hey, Brave me men that rode women. horses. Let me tell you something. We wasn't there settling. Hey, we was. wasn't. Hey, my we great great grandfather was. I, I was going to stop that. at the okay. Washtenaw hey, River. My family come from Tennessee in a covered wagon. I know. And where did they go to? In, the the wa Wachita River. And you know, you oh, know where I'd have been if I'd what? have been doing that? What? When I hit that Mississippi River, I'd have said, nope. <laughs> yep. Oh, you ain't going I'd have been somewhere around Vicksburg, Memphis, depending on which way you went, Greenville, somewhere. I'd have been like, I ain't crossing I, that ditch, boys. No, I ain't going I ain't, it ain't I there. Ain't Too much ditch. water. Yeah. Of course, it looked a lot different. You may could walk across it back in. You never know during you the might, summertime. Yeah, you probably could have walked across that it. Either that or they may have built, uh, you know, uh, rafts. No, step, nope. Ooh, no, mm -mm. sir. No, they had a ferry and they sang a little oh, no, song. No, no, you need to go ferry. look. Hey, you need to go to Arizona. Utah and all them places, and actually see where <laughs> that they did cross, have it you know block and tackle and all this junk, letting mules down, and yeah, yeah. Oh hey, that was back in the day when the name when you said man, oh it meant something entirely different than it does today. Oh boy. Uh, hey, you can put R E A L in front of that. Real okay. men. There you go. Well, look, let's take a real break and we'll be back right <laughs> We're going to take this. a real break. Break. Hey. What? Did I tell you how many hours I slept last night? Nope. Ten. Why'd oh you sleep goodness. ten hours? I just how slept can you sleep and I slept hours? and I slept and I was so comfortable and I couldn't get out of bed. There you go. It you was wonderful. One of them. He looks mattresses there, J.D., just like Why, that. yes, I do. I slept 11 and a half the other day on mine. <laughs> Tommy, okay. Tommy Topper. Hey, I was, you know, my wife said, boy, you must have been tired. And I said, well, I was. I've been hunting, you know, daylight to dark, hunting ducks in the morning and then deer in the afternoon. So, yeah, I was, I was run down. Well, I will but, say. Hey, the comfort did have something to do. Oh, it's wonderful. And sleep comes better during the wintertime anyway, because oh, oh, we're yeah. all wore out, so it's nice to have a comfortable place to lay your head. You know what Plus, I'm saying? Plus, it was raining, too, and a little... Yeah. yeah. That always helps you sleep better. Helix Sleep has a quiz that takes just two minutes to complete and matches your body type and sleep preferences mm -hmm. to the perfect mattress for you. Why would you buy a mattress made for someone else? With Helix, you're going to get a mattress that you know will be the perfect fit for the way you sleep. Mm -hmm. Everybody's unique, and Helix knows that, so they have several different mattress models to choose from. They have soft, medium, and firm mattress. Mattress is great for cooling you down if you sleep hot. Mattress is great for spinal alignment to prevent morning aches and pains, and even a Helix Plus mattress for folks like me. So, plus size sleep. If sleeper. you're plus size, body positive sleep, you know what I'm saying? I took the Helix quiz. I was matched to the Midnight Lux. I think we all got something different, which I'm, is. I'm on a soft, fluffy cloud. Which is the reason that Helix is so awesome. We got all these guys in here, and they ain't one of us got the same mattress. That's how unique and modified it is just for you. So, if you're looking for a mattress, take the quiz, order the mattress you're matched to, and the mattress comes right to your door. Ship for free. You don't ever need to go to a mattress store again. Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash duck. Once again, up to $200 off helixsleep.com slash duck. And that's our good savings, boys. 200 bucks. The about. weight of a jockey <laughs> usually <laughs> ranges from 108 to 118 pounds. And no more. Martin ain't weighed 118 pounds since the second hey, grade. He he weighed 118 pounds when he was born. Second's probably generous. <laughs> probably more like the first. I mean, I hit. A, I was a late bloomer, but hey. come seventh grade, I, I ain't seen 120 since I was then. a thin little kid till I got them tonsils cut out. Then I went on that ice cream diet for really? a while, and hey, I ain't man. ever looked back. So. Hey, 
explain, man. I like man, the cream. Something in the tonsils and adenoids jacked thing everything up. Does. Oh, Seth's blame. Hey, just never ever took my thoughts out. No, I'm when glad they did. you got an ice cream kick, that's it, boys. It's gone. I'm glad they took them out because I was never sick as a kid and still, for the most part, ain't. But, of course it is. You know, COVID don't care if it's you got tonsils or not. But, mm, you ain't kidding. But, uh, no, I was I was a thin, young, strapping fella till I got them tonsils out, and that's all of it, boys. He's looking at all the writing paranoia. <laughs> paranoia, <laughs> huh? Tell him something. Well, whatever it is, hey. Y'all know what it means. Yeah. You know what I was talking I'm about. I'm just reading about jockeys. That's right. And he's showing all kind of stuff that they wear. I bet Ooh. they wear Tommy Johns. Hey. Oh, oh, do they? Hey. They're lightweight they're and they're yeah. lightweight, baby. And they stretch. Yeah. Hey. There you go. He's coming in for the stretch, boys. <laughs> I bet they don't hey. wear jockey. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Where's our sound hey. effect guy? Hey. Come on, hey. man. Sound you got a board. Up. Boy, that was a joke. God, that, that, one, but, yeah. that one needs a... <laughs> There you go. Oh, there you go, oh yeah. Hey. I'll take it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, just throw one in every now and then. We'll go along with it. We're getting bona fide. Yeah. When you start having a man bonafide. over there with sound this effects, getting we're getting bona fide. We're, we're just turning into like a local river. morning radio show with that. Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> Native American hey, this redneck. This is like good morning Vietnam. Oh, by the way. Yeah, there you go. Hi. So, Hi. Hey. Let me tell you what I saw on TV. Right. Uh, they were doing a special about Vietnam, and they showed the um, truck gunners, these trucks that would go when they would be bringing supplies in. Yeah, and a half. Yeah. No these, these big big trucks had guns, big guns. Quad and, 50s. Yeah. I'm talking about awesome. Yeah. Yeah, and and they would they would be the protection for these. Yep. They ever let you drive one there? Uh, oh, I drove do staff all the time. But I'm talking about with quad fifty. Well, no, but I've seen them. And uh, but they had uh, names like Brutus and yeah. all these kind of names yeah. that they put yeah, on the side they, of them. That ring that that them quad fifties is on. Yeah, I mean it's heavy, big time heavy. But it has to be. Fifty caliber machine guns are heavy. Man. And then if you put four of them in that ring. Okay. Well, they it, said they said that I could just go outside and you pick the tree. If I had quad fifties on that dish side, I could make it in toothpicks for you in just a. Well, little that's one of the time. things they said is that if they had their enemy hiding behind the trees, oh yeah, they just and they had the, the other the guns tree and the enemy. They just yeah, they would just have to shoot around them and try and yeah. hit them. But with those guns, oh, yeah. you're talking you just about just cut the tree down. That's what, exactly what they said. Yeah. You just shoot the tree till it fell down? No, you shoot right oh. through the tree. You know, hey, Those just, bullets hey, go through it. It'd be like a buzzsaw. It wouldn't just take it brrrr. long. Yeah. Now, that's sound effect. Hmm. No, but it's about five, about, no, say ten times louder. This caliber is loud. Just like the minigun, 20, 20 millimeter, it's loud. Oh, man. Now, how happened. do we go from yeah. this... What were we talking about? <laughs> you had talked about some, some strange sounds earlier today. Oh, horse jockeys, okay. yeah. strange sounds. Quad fifties. Quad fifties. Oh, no. You said, welcome back to Vietnam. Oh, good morning. Good morning, yeah. Vietnam. That's oh, yeah. We turned into yeah. a morning yeah. radio. There you yeah, we go. Did. Okay. Yeah. We just so traced our effects that got steps back. Shanked off, boys. Now what? Hey, here's, here's what I got in my fortune cookie. Sometimes you can be walking around lucky and not even know it. It's true. He got that in the fortune cookie. Thing. I don't know, man. Fortune cookie. We at the what do we do line. after hunting and football season? We go fishing, but then what I do we watch? That you don't watch anything. I can't wait. You to eat crawfish. Well, just, well, we finally get more hours in the day, so you it's watch, not dark at four. You watch Ted Lasso, and you laugh. I need to watch that. That's a good show. It's the language is a little yeah. We tried a little to British it. on the language. The language, but, is kind of but it's, it's funny. It gets a little British. Oh no, it, it's British very... people's curse words just don't. They don't. They don't. They're not offended by them. The they're same re- way yeah, are. they're real fond of one Beep. Ted Lasso. They just but. those British folks. Why y'all keep cussing British folks? There's some British because folks. Because the listening. sun never shines over. There. I'd be mad too. We spent two weeks over. There. You don't ever see. Oh the no, sun. no, no. You're right there. I know. You never see the sun, and it rains every time you get out from under a roof. I'd be mad, too. Oh, no, 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 no. That happened Foul to mood. Germany. Look, and it went for like <laughs> 40. If you're hey, yeah. That happened to Germany, okay, for 45 days we'd never seen the sun. You know what else? It was always rain. 45 days? I'll tell you what else. days. And look, I know we got people. And it rained the whole time. I know we got people that from the U.K. that comment on this podcast, and I appreciate y'all. <laughs> 
But I'm just telling you right now, life's too short to not have ice and a salt shaker. <laughs> Go treat yourself. I'm just saying. Uh, the ice thing's weird over there. That yeah. and such thing as, you know, like hot sauce and you know, stuff that gives a little bit of flavor. Well, if they would just start with a salt shaker, there's no telling what they'd discover. <laughs> but they <laughs> all see <laughs> But anyway, let's take another break. We'll be back while Johnny D break. puts the air back in his chair. Hey. 2022 is going to be a big year for a lot of businesses, but some industries are projected to grow even more this year, such as pet services, like training your dogs, walking your dogs, feeding them, all that kind of stuff from all the people that got pets during COVID because they were lonely. Fitness, health and wellness apps, non-traditional workout studios, working out at home, house of pain, all, you name it, they got it. Digital events and conferences, do we even need to talk about that? Home improvement, because... Well, you tore up everything. You spent too much time inside. So so why not go outside and buy a duck call and some fishing tackle? There you go. There you go, boys. <laughs> if you work for or own a business in one of these growing industries or a wide range of other industries, you probably need to hire ASAP. There's only one place to go, ZipRecruiter. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash duck. ZipRecruiter uses powerful technology to find and match the right candidates up with your job. Then it proactively presents these candidates to you. You can easily review these recommended candidates and invites your top choices to apply for your job, which is, encourages them to apply faster. No wonder ZipRecruiter is the number one rated hiring site in the U.S. based on G2 ratings. And now you can try ZipRecruiter for free at this exclusive web address, ZipRecruiter.com slash duck. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash duck, D-U-C-K, ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Welcome back. Oh, boy. That was like, welcome back, Carter. Yeah, sound like a live audience, huh? Right, boy. We should do one in front of a live audience. That way we could get in trouble. Hey, no, just... no, we can't. Uh -uh. Oh, I'm, we... I'm a big believer in non-live. Well, we had someone email in asking if we'd ever do a live podcast. Well, let I, me... I mean, I would if there was like a little crowd, because I think it'd be fun to interact with a crowd. We need to do like, like a fan like... live, like a hundred people. Okay. All right. I've got to tell you all this. When we went to Hazard Fest. Mm -hmm. The uh, Dukes of Hazard Fest? Yes. I was there. Basically. Yeah. That's um, where Philip got the to-go meatloaf. And oh yeah. Potatoes. He brought the hamburger home. Wah, yeah. wah, wah. <laughs> I got a question about. <laughs> there it is. No, stop. Because the guy who put the show on said he'd love to have all the guys from the duck call room come back next year and do the same thing um because this kind of like what we did there we were up on stage me mm -hmm. and you and godwin and si and just yeah i just to, made instagram stories stuff. while si talked the whole time yeah was, what i used to do when si and willie had appearances i'd yeah. just sit in the back and giggle so we could take the show on the road take the show on the road, right. take the show on the road we boy. on the road enough i ain't trying to i'm not on the road ever anymore and it's uh, wonderful yeah i know it. i drive five minutes a day that's Traveling's it. one of them deals that's really cool until it's your job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you just get Then it gets of, bad. You get tired of living out of a suitcase that's eventually. Right. So that is what it is, I suppose. But Anyways, um, what are yeah. we going to talk about next? I don't know. What do y'all want to talk about? I'm, I'll tell you this. On our duck hunt this morning, we killed a banded mallard drake. How about that? Have you called it in yet? I sure did. Where, Where was it from? Where did they band it? Any guesses? Louisville, Kentucky. Oh. No. Uh, Illinois. No. Minnetonka, Minnesota. Somewhere in Canada. No. Uh oh. Hey. Ah, congratulations. Ooh. Saskatchewan. 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 Yeah, that's two that we've killed on that piece of property, both banded in Saskatchewan. Huh. I went to Saskatchewan once. Yeah. That was the most redneck place I've ever been in my life. Alberta's the same way. It Me was and Gobble went to the, like the Calgary Stampede Rodeo or whatever, and then we went to the indoor lacrosse game. How was the rodeo? It's cool. Yeah, it's, okay. it was neat. That's a big deal, ain't it? Yeah, Goblin was fired up. Oh, yeah. He used yeah. to be a rodeo. Yes, he was a bull rider. Yeah. yeah. Me, I was just like, that's now an awful big animal bull. there, son. Get him away from yeah. me. Yeah. They had them jumping horses there, them bucking broncs, and the oh, yeah. boys was riding them things. Yeah, Lee. Mm. Lord, have mercy. But I'm into Canada. I want to go back to Canada. Yeah. I've only been one time. One of these time. days. One of these days we'll be able to get back. Oh, in. yeah. Are we not allowed I'd, in Canada? I'd like to go to the prairies when the ducks are actually nesting. And go look at them? And yeah. And yeah. Look, yeah. And just stare at them. That'd be that cool. would be cool. 
We have a bunch of people from Canada that listen to this. Oh, I know. They're fantastic. I like, I've like. i always had very positive experience with Canadian folks. Because when we went to Alaska with what, Billy Graham's uh, deal? Yeah, yeah. Franklin. Look, this yeah. dude emailed you know, me. Uh, you know, that was cool. Where the grizzly bears uh, fatten up before they hibernate on big salmon. There you go. Yeah. My man Dane from Manitoba. Canada emailed us and he wanted to trade weather for the day. It was minus 48 wind chill. No, yeah. you, you can have that big Yeah, day. but the nope. thing about that is, okay, that's a dry. No, 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 no. Minus Shut 48 up. ain't no, no, dry wind. Stop it. No, no. Stop it. Minus no, no, 48. I know this. Oh, I, go I, ahead, Yeah, but I ah. know this for one reason. That's, hey, it, it makes a big difference if it's a dry cold or a wet cold. I know that, but well, minus I forty eight. I stepped off a plane in Anchorage, Alaska, and it was forty below, and I was actually comfortable walking from the down the steps of the plane inside. Do we have a sound for until that? I actually yeah. got inside and realized how cold it really was out there? Yeah, okay? I mean, you you do have that that argument has merit. Oh yeah, if it's not minus forty eight, that's just cold. Wet, dry, indifferent. A yeah, yeah, but, uh, 30 man. degrees here feels colder than 30 degrees up yeah, at Mount. Like we had these boys this weekend come in and hunt from Wisconsin that bought the hunt at the Tim Tebow deal. Mm -hmm. They came by the honey hunt. They froze to death. Oh, no, no, Did no. They? Oh, it yeah. was raw, though. I mean, wind right in our face. Yeah, cold, I, it's humidity. A, no, it's an entirely different beast. And they were like, cold. yeah, yeah, this this cold down here gets in your bones. I was yeah. like, mm -hmm. oh, I'm aware. Yeah. I mean, I've lived in it my whole it's life. It's in your soul. I Ooh. said the heat does the same thing about mid-August, too. Oh, yeah. So, like, it's, it's, it's a real deal. We but. went ice fishing that was 20 below. Yeah, they kept trying to get me to 20 come. Below. 20 below. That, is and that the look, coldest? Man, that wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. It really wasn't. It really wasn't, yeah. No, size right. Yeah, I had a light jacket on. That's because okay. y'all stepped out and stepped into the shack. Well, yeah. oh, no, 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 I'm just good. saying, though, but it wasn't that bad because I had a very light jacket on. And we also okay. went uh, behind the, the, the snow, the dogs. Yeah. Yeah, dog sled. Dog sledding. And it wasn't that bad, but it was 20 below, and I thought I was going to die. But then when we got out in but it, it wasn't that bad. Erroneous. Yeah. I know y'all were cold. Was, I, the coldest bad, weather. It's entirely different deal. Oh, I know. It really is. It's entirely we different. We were in deal. Chicago one time, and it was six degrees, and I said, this this is how I go out, just in the middle of a street in Chicago. That was just what I was fixed to say. We went to Albuquerque, New Mexico. It's not even yeah. north. And when we was on the Rio Grande over at duck hunting. That's exactly what temperature was. Six? Six degrees. Mm -mm. And I was oh. comfortable. Coldest I, no, the coldest I ever been was that first time we went to Kansas duck hunting. Oh, no, no. There was just enough humidity <laughs> in that place. Yeah. Froze yeah. to and, death. And not only that, and we was on, the blind was metal. Uh, we oh, had they, ice up under us. So it was like a have, well, it was like a refrigerator. Any, any heat? Wrong answer, dude. Don't make a blind out of metal. I froze to death. Oh, no. I, I like mean, like. Die. Wrong answer, dude. I like to die. Wrong answer, okay. <laughs> hey, me and I do not get along, period. Okay. I mean, that was the Whoa. coldest. I, I yeah. still is the coldest I've ever been. Even by the fire, I couldn't get warm. Huh. Like, I was, I mean, that was. I never did get warm until no. I got back home and I uh, sat in front it of It seems fire. like when it's when it's a cold that's kind of wet, yeah. that it's hard to get over. Oh, man, I, I'll i never forget I that cold. That's yet. why when the greatest hunt they ever had on field property, I was not there for one reason. <laughs> You're scared? I asked over then and Jace used the chainsaw to cut the ice hole. Oh, no, we killed them, that day. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Quick. They full limits in about 15 minutes. Yeah, it was About quick. eight guys. I like cold. I don't like misery. I mean, I want it to be cool, but I don't like being miserable. Like them last two. Have days, you ever been married? <laughs> only for seven years. Seven I ain't years. been miserable he yet. Ain't, okay. He ain't in the misery. Not yet. Mm -hmm. Not yet. He ain't got to the misery part. Still honeymoon. Hey, I'm, I'm joking. Still honeymoon. I just hey, I've been married. <laughs> I've been married for fifty about years. About the honeymoon, and I'm yeah, 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 okay. not. I'm not joking about the misery, but I am yeah. about the honeymoon. Hey, I've been married 50 years. Ain't no misery involved. Oh. <laughs> my wife got in bed the other night with me you. and said, are my feet cold and then stuck them two icebergs she had attached to the bottom of her legs on me? I was like, no, you got to get out of here. This ain't this ain't even cool here. Till cold hey, you, does its part. I mean, I, she said, you're always so warm. I said, 
Well, get them off of it. Right. Like, get this get is, off of it. This, this is a no-fly zone here. Right. Right. No-fly so, zone. So after 30 years, I, stuff like that, no, I, I'm immune to it. I just let it, let it go. You just let it happen? Yep. Put the I cold feet on happen. me. I'm fine. But I done got all toasty. Yeah. You know, I done got nice get and toasty. And she stuck get into your icebergs cold on feet me. feet off of me. Man. Yeah. I ain't ever felt somebody's feet cold. <laughs> I, t- I told her, I said, check your pulse, see if you're alive. Dad, <laughs> come on. Day. I mean, cold, son. I don't Good understand that. Grief. Well, let's take another break. I don't we'll like be being back cold. Right after this. Look here, boys. It's 2022. <laughs> that means, hey, it's been 36 years of research and development <laughs> heading toward 36. Seven. How many? What right. have they been and researching and about, developing? Hey, Omega XL, baby. Oh, here we oh, go. Boy. You got what? Three hundred and sixty joints in this body of mine. Mm-hmm. Look, you know they're getting old, boys. They're mm-hmm. wearing out. Amen. They got a little inflammation here in the wrist here. You know, guess what though? Tell hey, us. I got my first responders, JD. Oh, who are they? Okay, hey, that's Omega XL. Boy. Where are they found, baby? Hey, look, <laughs> they found in the one place on this planet. Where? The pristine waters of New Zealand, and like I was talking about, back to my wrist, inflammation in it, boys, painful. Okay, but I like I said, I popped two Omega XLs, mm. and hey, guess what? The first responders, as soon as they go down my gullet, okay, they are on their way to the wrist, boys, <laughs> and the inflammation is immediately wow, gone. Wow. Hey, to the wrist, Martin, boy. What? Tell them how they can get not one, but two bottles of this. Well, I'm going to tell them that side. But first, I'm going to remind us, when we're young, our bodies produce SPMs. They're nature's way of keeping joints healthy. But like Cy said, the older you get, the less you got. Omega XL can restore your SPMs and rejuvenate joints and muscles so that you can move like you did when you That's were right, young. That's right, when I'm young, boy. Can your supplement do that? Order Omega XL and get a second bottle for free. Visit OmegaXL.com slash duck. That's OmegaXL.com slash duck. Or call 1-800-844-4888. 1-800-844-4888. Baby, call. Not Get one, but. Second bottle free. Two. All right, we're back. We're back. Back. After a, quite a break, because. Like, very long we're break. Back, boys. We're, we're having a case of the back. Mondays. That was so a back needed is break. Back. We're having a case of I got Monday. something for Mondays. Well, hey, what do you got? What do you got? Hit me with your best shot, J.D. A little story out of Tallulah, Louisiana. Tallulah, Right Louisiana. down the road. You've been there, huh? Yep. I have. Joe Julio's Fuda. on the river. Well, don't know what that means. Oh. Colby from Heber Springs, Arkansas. Yeah. Loves the podcast. And he sent in a news story that was about his grandfather in Tallulah in 1983. Oh, okay. okay. So I'm we're going back were you in born time, yet, boy. Lady? No, I was not, sir. Nor was dial, I. What? Set the dial to 1983. Was, what happened in 1983, JD? 85. To his grandfather. Um, there was a lion on the roof on the loose in 1983 in a Tulum. Lion on the roof of what? On the on loose. The loose, like a skate. Loose. Yes. Oh, I thought you said roof. On, on the, the roof. Black? Okay. <laughs> No, it was not a black panther. This is a regulation line. Here's a picture from the zoo. No, it was somebody's pet because the 80s were awesome. The 80s were awesome. Look, so there's the lion. So this line's on the loose. It starts on a dog poodle killing spree. Well, then he killed a poodle. He killed a poodle. One of the neighborhood poodles got got by the lion. Okay. And then... Oh, Colby's grandpa got trapped by him, basically, outside the yard. And uh, his only defense was a fly swatter. <laughs> oh, no. That ain't line? very good. So he's swatting at the line. Yeah. He gets the line back, gets inside, gets his gun. Line then he tamer. throws a rock at the line. That doesn't work. Then he shoots the line. I would have started there. Shoot him with? Well, hold on one okay. second. It does say. Rat shot. Hey, no. Whatever I can oh, get my hands him. on. A uh, seven point seven millimeter Poplar Saint Ooh, Japanese rifle. Yeah, no wonder. Okay, you know why the lion killed the, the <coughs> poodle? This is just my my. Because cats there. and dogs don't like no, each no. other. No, no, because he thought it was actually a lion, and he said, you, you, "You're a sissy. I ain't gonna let you live." <laughs> 
This coming from a man who owned a poodle. Well, hey, that is killer. <laughs> Name killer. Hey, look, I've got more photographs of him that I had to sign. Me and killer. You and killer? Me and killer. Didn't you send that dog back? Yeah. I actually shot a dub one day, okay? He went out to get it, and when he come running back, he was running too fast, and I grabbed him. They got real sensitive skin, poodle do, and it actually pinched him, and he tried to bite me. So I had to send him back to the dog trainer for remedial training. There you go. There's the story of Killer. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Now, look, I feel for his granddad. As a man who's been trapped by an animal, you'll do anything to get out of there. What were you trapped by? Not a line. This by is, this is No, this is <laughs> this is mildly but boring. He did, that he didn't mind. He <laughs> didn't mind being trapped by her, okay? Oh, is this when she put the cold toes in him? Oh, yeah. This is mildly more I, embarrassing. Hey, I love that Wait, woman. I want I to know what I'm very is. interested in what animal had Martin pinned. <laughs> and I mean, it must have been a big animal. Oh, no. Big. Hey. Hey, it's Porcupine? a mountain lion. Oh, we a, were. It's a mountain lion. No. Okay. No, it ain't yeah, even that cool. a mountain lion. She comes from Tennessee, boy. She come up there with her mountains. <laughs> so we were hunting in Texas. We are turkey hunting in Texas. <laughs> and we get there late one evening. The guy drives us around. He's showing us the whole place. And he said, be careful if you end up in this pasture because there's ostriches here. Oh, and they're mean. And he was like, he said, they may be nesting. We ain't really seen them in a while, whatever. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, it's you, we're flying around this place. So next day we go turkey hunting. Turkey gets a goblin, right? <laughs> <laughs> so we there we go. We strike off. I told Miller, I said, hey, just go kill that turkey. You know, it ain't but one of them, so ain't no reason for both of us to go. So go kill him. I'll sit right here at the truck. While I'm sitting in the truck, it starts to mist rain. Well, all our stuff's in the back of the truck. All our shotgun, you know, shotgun shells, yeah. vest, all that stuff's in the back of the truck. So I'm like, well, wet. let me get it out of the rain. Yeah. So I get out, and I'm gathering it all up. Mind you, I'm in the bed of my truck, and I hear, <laughs> and I'm like, that's that sound you heard. I know, but I'm like, what, what in the world was that? I've never heard yeah. that before. Yeah. And then I heard it again. I said. It was a pterodactyl. So I said, oh. nobody panic. Right. And I turned and looked. And there was the male ostrich. Ooh. Swole up. He didn't like you. Swole up. He had them little short yeah. stubby wings yeah. out like yeah. this coming yeah. at me with his head lowered and just hissing. <laughs> And I was like, no, buddy, that ain't, that, that, uh-uh, this ain't wrong, okay. Wrong answer, this dude. Ain't, this ain't okay, fella. Yeah. Of course, I'm at the back of my truck. My gun's in the truck already. I done put it up, and I'm like, well, now what? <laughs> so I get in the back of the truck. I get on the roof. You're on the so, roof of the truck? Well, I had to get to my door. I wasn't going to do it from the ground. to get the gun. So I, I went around, in the evening and up. I'm crawling over my roof of my truck, and I'm trying to reach that door handle. And even at 6'4", you just don't bend like it. I finally got it open. So seeing a man my size go from the roof to inside the truck, I pretty, I'm, I'm glad there wasn't no cameras. Yeah, it involved. was amazing. But it was but, a desperate. I mean, you had to, to get there. But I got in there, and I grabbed my gun, and I cracked that window, and I just pointed it out that window. I was like, you rascal? If you if you come at me, uh, you're right. I'm don't make me you. do this. I don't want to. Well, so he's looking. Yeah. Finally, gets satisfied. He done scared me off, which he had. I mean, <laughs> ostriches are big. He had <laughs> and mean apparently. And then walks yeah, they are. Well, I'm I'm like, oh, okay, thank God, praise God. Yeah, praise and I'm God. sitting there, and all of a sudden the turkey quits gobbling. So I'm like, well, Miller about to kill him. Ain't no thing. And by that time, I hear the weirdest sounding gunshot you've ever heard. It boom. I'm like, that didn't sound good. Yeah. Well, then I heard it again. I said, something's wrong with Miller's gun. So I I, I went to go find Miller. Yeah, tell me he may have shot himself. I, I found a man and, and an ostrich, <laughs> an ostrich in a pile. Ooh. Yeah. That ostrich done snuck up there on Miller while he's using that turkey call and beat the tar out of him. Ostriches are mean. I'm talking about the same one. Hey, the same and, one. Yeah, he walked that way, but I hey, wasn't thinking that. And of, you know? in self defense, Miller had to shoot his way out of this. So at that time in his life, Mike Miller had had converted, and I hadn't heard him cuss in probably ten years. Well, I walk around the corner, and that boy 
is letting out every cuss word you've ever <laughs> he been, he been heard holding back. in your he, life. He, he legitimately got yeah. hurt by this ostrich. Got whooped by him, son. Yeah. He got the gun knocked out of his hand, finally scrambled over there to the gun, and shot the ostrich in the chest twice at point blank range because he was just curb stomping it. Ooh. Well, because they swing their head. Well, well, no, 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 head. no, no, no. Look, hey, and not only that, hey. Them things have got big feet. Oh, yeah. Kicked him right in the okay. chest. Look, and have got big toenails. Yeah. Hard toenails. You know what saved Miller? His binoculars. That turkey kicked, or turkey, Jeffrey. that ostrich kicked him Jeffrey. right in the chest, yeah. ripped his binoculars off. We found them like 20 yards away from where they went flying. Yeah. And uh, But the funniest part of that was we dug cactus needles out of Miller. Oh, yeah. Where for the next two around. days. Because yeah. that ostrich just went round and round on him and whooped his butt, son. Of course, Dang. I'm I'm laughing now that I know Now Miller's that he's okay, okay well, you know. Yeah, that he's not dead. Yeah. But when I heard them weird gunshots, I was like. You knew something wasn't something, right. Something ain't, oh, yeah. something ain't G-hauled. And then I never thought about the ostrich walking over there and whooping him. But yeah. <laughs> did you tote a gun with you when you went to go check on oh, him? Oh, buddy, did I? <laughs> yeah, I knew he went that way. I just didn't realize he went and attacked Miller. So did y'all have to pay for the ostrich? We did. We wrote a check for him. Yeah. That's fine. John David, your uncle used to have a bunch of ostriches. Oh, no offense, they yeah. would give us eggs, big, huge ostrich. Yeah, my eggs. uncle ran an ostrich farm. And I tell you what we did, too. We cleaned Mr. Ostrich, and we ate him. He pretty good eating. Were you still mad at well, they, him? They pretty good. I wasn't mad at him. No, he let me off. No, me and, me and him was no, cool. You, you got things, away. Me and him was cool. Yeah, yeah. when you had that gun pointing at him, he was I like. Did, I did have my right. gun just precariously out the window of my truck saying, don't do it. Mac, Mac told me a story dude, about dude. it. Of course, he, all I had was a 20 gauge, and I'm like. Them buddy, things I better... fast, too. Watch this, dude. Oh, no, no. Watch this, dude. No, no. Watch this. Boom. Oh, That's, no, no, is no, that no, Miller? No. That's no. what happened to Miller. No, no. Mac told me that and that, and he, he went in the pen and wasn't thinking. <laughs> well, we didn't know. He knocked, hey, he knocked him down with that big foot. He and said, I'm proceeded. glad I had a, my hunting coat on. Oh, he that said, one that's the only thing. He probably foot. stuck me with that toenail. Is, is Miller a big guy or not that big? He's average. I mean, he's yeah. six foot, 180 pounds, you know. That's what I mean? a, hey, that's just a big bird. Oh, that's a big animal. That's a big animal. I got a picture somewhere yeah. of my fall Miller holding the head of the ostrich up. I said, well, you got to take a picture with him. <laughs> I said, that thing, I said, he. So, he hey, who you been in the fight with? You don't want to know. Yeah, he won the battle, but hey. he lost the war. Uh, yeah. uh, they should have had him stuffed on the so he's on the so a, wall. A, a full-grown ostrich is like the size of Martin running twice as fast as Usain and, Bolt. And oh, no. Way more agile. Oh, yeah. An uh, ostrich will whoop you. Oh, I'm telling you, when that sucker, you ain't ever felt fear in your life till you're gathering all your stuff out the back of your truck and you hear, <laughs> <laughs> and that second time when curiosity gets you, I felt like the guy in a scary movie, you know, when I hear the noise and they go investigate. Well, when I heard it again, I had to know what was behind me. I was like, <laughs> "Look, if oh, it, boy, if here we go. I, I, I'm serious. That's about what I heard last night. I don't think it was an ostrich. It might have been. It may have been. No. Escape from Max Farm so look, years ago. I'd never heard that crazy sound before. Well, look, if that ostrich get after you, get behind stone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Put something between you and him. <laughs> hey, look. If, well, that's like the deal about hey, I don't have to outrun it. You know, I just have to outrun you. Just put yeah, this one get, get something between you and him. I recommend yeah. a pickup truck. Amen. And hey, a I, shotgun. I want to see this story on the big screen so I can yell at it. Get away, Martin. Oh, get I, your gun, Martin. I'm telling you, I was so happy that I had that toolbox in the back of my truck because I don't know if I could have got to the roof by just. Oh, well, yeah. I probably could have. I, think, I was. I was scared. I, I think was, the ostrich was wanting to whoop you first but then he got a good look at you he was like he's a little bit oh he looked at me said he's too slick for this i ain't gonna whoop him but that boy out there sitting on the ground he won't even see it coming get him (laughs) what's even funnier is like 20 minutes later that turkey got the goblin again we killed him we we went back with an ostrich and a a gobbler all in the back well mr ranch owner i got a problem here when they got two problems (laughs) (laughs) yeah yeah, so i got a problem here we got a turkey but we got a bonus there too. Yeah. So oh, wait a minute. What do you mean a bonus? <laughs> Miller tried. Well, hey, Miller the mail, tried that old the mail lost his showed up, <laughs> and it was a bunch of whooping going on. Yeah. And we had to, we had to you know shoot our way out of that. The landowner said, "Son, you need two things. First, you need some tweezers, and you need a big check." Yeah. Miller Miller tried that line on him and said, "Oh, uh, uh, you know, we won't sue you if we ain't got to pay for that ostrich." 
I looked at the old boy, I said, how much we owe you? I ain't, I ain't trying to, I ain't playing that game. What we owe you? We killed, you, li- we killed you livestock, what we owe you? Yeah. you well, know, question, we, was it pretty expensive? He wasn't that bad, no. And he probably did y'all, gave y'all a good deal. Well, I mean, what was he going to do? He was dead. <laughs> Take what he could get? <laughs> I think he went on there and figured out what it cost to replace him, and that's what I wrote the check for, yeah. but that was fine. That's ain't no fine. thing. Did Miller help with the cost? No. But I wanted to keep turkey hunting, so I was willing to pay. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah here you go. Let's roll. Ostrich fights. I did yeah. not know that story. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. That was, uh, yeah, I've kept that one under my hat. There, That was not one of my more proud moments. But John, David, you ever been pinned up by an animal? No. <laughs> no, he pinned raised. Very, very by design. I got stuck on a trampoline from a neighborhood dog when I was a kid for a while once. Better than getting treated by a chicken. I just yeah. sat up there and was like... This dog can't get on this trampoline, hopefully. Well, let's take our last break. We'll be back right after this. All right, we're back. And we're back. Welcome we're back. We're the favorite segment of the show. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got in the mail. Johnny bag. D's hey. mailbag at hey, hello Pat- at duckcallroom.com. Patrick from South Carolina sent this literally South three minutes ago. Where did you find them? Samuel's first duck. Ducks. He said duck, but good night. Oh, he's got a bunch of them, boys. Oh, yeah. Four pretty mallards. Them be mallard ducks, too. So way to go, Samuel. Uh, that's go over there Samuel. in South Carolina. A little South Carolina greenhead action. Man. Where was that? Island? I'm jealous. Huh? It's some lake over there. I can't remember the name of the lake. Now. They got more than one. Yeah. Hartwell? That's the one everybody knows of. Yeah, I don't remember. I have no idea. There's a lot of ducks on it. I don't know that. All right. So any housers. We got more and more emails to get to. Jess doesn't say where he's from, but his wife is Polish. Okay. All right. I don't know what that means, but. It means he eats a lot of sausage. I dig it. And he, for some reason, he he addressed me. Uh-oh. Oh, here we JD, go. JD, I'd like to know your opinion, as well as the guys, on how to lure my woman into going hunting with him, even if it's just once. Uh, my wife said no, so I can't, I got no advice. How to lure her into hunting? Yeah. She don't want to go hunting. Oh. So he's like, how do I get my wife to go hunting with me? Have you ever fed her the wild game that you hunt? That's a good start. Yeah. Make it really good. And then say, wouldn't you like to do this? (laughs) But I also say this, if they've never been, if they have never been, don't start with a duck hunt. Don't start with a deer hunt. Start with squirrels or doves, something you can go. You're moving. You mm-hmm. make noise. The weather's nice. <coughs> and you don't have to be quiet, cold, and miserable like you do sometimes when you're actually, yep. when you're chasing yep. fowl or chasing deer. Go Just make sure they can have fun. Because mm-hmm. if they can have fun, the chances are they'll try a different kind of hunting. And then you just kind of, you know, like this morning was not the morning to take somebody. A, there ain't no ducks. B, it was like. 28 degrees here and there was about 10 mile an hour north wind it was cold this morning not a good morning to say hey you want to go on your first hunt no not this, this ain't it sometime around the first of september when it's still nice and breezy and warm out you can, you can take them and and see if they'll go that but look if she don't man hunting ain't for everybody just like i like the deal about the food though feed it to them first yeah yeah so like yeah. especially squirrel that's my favorite wild game Squirrel's fire. You fry a young squirrel up for, hey. Squirrel yeah. fire. A man likes a good squirrel. I'm not Squirrel's good. Yeah. They just I've hard never to been able to get my wife to go. She just, she don't want to go, and I don't want to make like, her go. Yeah. Just, you know, if she don't want to go, she don't, yeah. don't want to go. And it's respect like, that let's decision go to and movies. move on. Okay. Yeah. It's cold outside. You know just what happens shopping. if she okay. likes hunting? Your bill just doubled. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now <laughs> You're trying to figure out how to stop her from going. Now you got to go buy her hunting clothes, a gun. Shells. It's probably a good thing. Yeah. So, hey, maybe you don't want her to be. Si, has Christine wife. ever showed any interest in going with nope. you? Nope. But My little Brit- sister I know did when does. we was growing up. Yeah. Brittany hunts with me a lot. Yeah. You know, and and what happened was it was squirrel hunting. So funny. So I'm shooting at this squirrel running up a tree. I'm, I'm shooting with a 22 rifle scope. Okay, and he's running. He's taking off. I done missed him first time, so he took off. And, I and hey. My sister is literally up on my back beating me on the head. Kill him, kill him, kill him. You know? Which one? <laughs> the the squirrel was Jan. Uh. You know? So I said, okay, all right. I've learned one thing. Hey, you get over there. 
Okay, because I don't want you jumping on top of me, yeah. beating me upside the head, trying while I'm trying to kill a squirrel running, fox squirrel running up a pecan tree. And she was for you killing it. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. And then after I killed it, she said, "Oh my goodness," because I'd done hit it three or four times. Yeah. She said, "You killed it." <laughs> I said, you was a minute ago screaming, kill it. I said, yeah, I killed it. I said, now we're going to go home and cook it. So there you go. Keep it fun. Don't force it. That's right, boys. Hey. All right. Next email. Roger from the great state of Kentucky. Roger Dodger. Dry Ridge, Kentucky. Been a big fan ever Dry since. Ridge. The Duck Dynasty show. Uh, loves the Duck Call Room on YouTube. And he knows there's no way to actually know the answer to this question. Well, I mean, hey, don't but. Hey, don't if Cy si had to guess, Uh-oh. how many ducks do you think you and Phil have killed and eaten in your life? <laughs> hmm. That's pretty good. Killed and eaten. Probably it would be in the thousands. There ain't no probably to it. I yeah. know it's in the yeah. thousands. Yeah. It's just how many zeros are behind it. Well, yeah. The difference that between 99,000 and 1,000. You're talking about a lifetime 000. here. We started, okay, you know. When we were kids, okay, the, the shotgun I cut my teeth on was a 16-gauge Browning, okay? I it, would It was say, bigger than me when I started. Which, so how long you been hunting? You been, you been chasing ducks for 60 years? Oh, yeah, at least that. 12, you probably. I started actually squirrel hunting when I was six. Six. <clears throat> okay, because the first one I killed... I watched him for like 35, maybe 45 minutes, and then it was, what are you doing, idiot? <laughs> this is what you come out here. Boom. Uh, 60 years, you probably got to think, kill three, 400 a year probably, something like that. Well, what about the military uh, years, though? Uh, oh, were, I hunted when I was in that. Time. Oh, yeah, he hunted. Yeah. Did you, not duck hunting, did you? Yeah. Did you oh, yeah, he gun? hunted Fort Polk. Oh, yeah. I know I've heard them stories. Uh, Fort he Polk hunted. and on uh, Fort Devens. Cause see, I was in charge of policing all of Fort Devens. I had a bunch of people I'd pick up, and they'd, they'd, you know, we'd go out and clean the post up. Well, I kept going over this little bridge that was over this little I haven't creek. heard this one. And I looked down and kept saying, them look like be mallard ducks down there. You know, well, I got to, this is in October. It opened like, you know, at the end of October up there. You know, and I said, hmm. I said, I got to find out if I can hunt there. Yeah, so I did, and oh yeah, and it was a little river, and then it it coming you come around the curve, okay, and it had a little slough that backed up, you know, and I got in that little slough, and they'd come down the river, and I'd hit them with a duck call, and they'd swing in there and come down and get in front of the decoys backpedaling, get their tail shot off. Oh yeah, and then get their butt shot off, cause I and these were black mallards too. Oh, black ducks. Oh yeah, that's black awesome. Ducks. Oh no, did you have awesome. people go with you? Oh yeah. Yeah, the best time was when me and Smitty, a guy from Georgia. There's always a Smitty. Smitty. Oh, no, There's no, no, always no, no, no. a Smitty. So, you know, you know, I'm in the Army, okay, and I'm I'm living there on an apartment, you know, out in the, you know, off post. So I had a couple shotguns, and I, I'd come into the barracks, you know, and tell me, hey, look, it's Saturday, tomorrow morning. I said, duck season open. I said, anybody want to go? Instead of just... Stay here in the barracks, nothing to do. I've got two shotguns. I've got shells. I'm, you know, let's go. <laughs> you know, none of them will show. You know, and I said, you bunch of sissies. <laughs> you know, but anyway. Here so comes finally, Smitty. Oh, yeah. So finally oh, I come here and I said, hey, anybody want to go duck on me? You know, like, no, 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 you bunch of sissies. <laughs> you know, and Smitty said, no, wait a minute. What are you talking about? I said, now, hey, I ain't got no waiters. We're going to wait. I, we got to wait about, you know. 30 yards get out of on this island. That's where the ducks are at. You know, they lap right out there by that island, so that's where we got to go. You know, and Smitty said, well, what are you talking about? I said, well, hey, it's wintertime, son. It's cold. I said, we ain't got no waiters. We're going to be about chest deep in water. Well, hey, I wasn't thinking. I'm 6'3". He's like 5'4". Oh, no. No, hey, no. Oh, 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 well, hey, hey, no. ain't nothing wrong with that. No, no. So Smitty. Smitty, Smitty ain't waiting. Smitty's Smitty swimming. Smitty said, yo, because I tell you bunch of sissies, yo. Smitty said, I'll go anywhere you go, Robert. I said, okay. So I wasn't even thinking. We, we, you know, we, we get to the place where we fixed duck hunt. I start wading out toward the island, and I hear something going, bloop, 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 bloop. Smitty's got under. Me. Look, he's got his shotgun over his head, 
and he's literally going underwater and bouncing off the bottom of the darn little old slough. And I said, Smitty, why didn't you tell me I would have let you just grab on me and wouldn't where you wouldn't get totally wet, you idiot? He said, Robson, I told you I'll go anywhere you go, son. <laughs> I said, okay. So I learned something about Smitty then. <clears throat> Smitty's one of them, hey, he'll go where you go, son. There you go. Smitty, oh, yeah. Smitty. Hey, we fooled Be a him. Smitty. Be a Smitty. Look, look, so look, we come waiting out with full limit of ducks, okay? Guess what? Game more shows up on oh, the no. post, okay? Smitty ain't got he no said, license, hey, does he? He said, no, no. He said, hey, what are y'all doing here? Major so-and-so called us. You can't hunt here. And I said, hey, wrong answer, Jack. You know, this was the MP. Yeah. You know? That's the wrong answer. I said, hey, I've done it. I said, here's my last hunting license, my duck stamp, all this good. Smitty showed him his and all that. Tell me, well, about this time, here come a squirrel. And he run between us and the game wardens. I said, kill him, Smitty. <laughs> <laughs> Did he do it? Hey, right, yeah. Smitty <laughs> ran up just boom. Oh, where's this story been all Oh, about? no, no, no. Look, hey, it scared the you-know-what out of that game warden, MP. And I said, hey, you can get off of this. I can't hunt here. He I said, I done checked in into this. Him. And I said, hey, I'm going to be here in the morning. Me and Smitty are. And Smitty said, you got that right, Jack. I like Smitty. I said, hey, I like Smitty, Smitty, too. I said, hey, grab that damn fox squirrel you just shot. Hey, we're going to eat him tonight. Oh, Lord, have mercy. In life, be a Smitty. So, hey, oh, yeah. yeah, I've hunted, you know, I hunted in Germany. I actually taught how to hunt the German way in Germany. There you go. Because I went to a scoop for it, you know. The you had German to way. How to hunt the way the Germans want to. They, you know, Johnny they give, D. They give what, when you kill an animal, they give it the last rites, what they call the last rites. You got to kill, like if you kill a deer, you break off a, a the piece twig. of the limb off an oak tree and put it in their mouth. That's called the last rites. You're honoring the game you just took out. What well, battle verse you got for us, Johnny D? Let's wrap this one up and send her on home. I got us a short little one from Big Dave sends me a Bible verse every morning. We're going to go with his Bible verse today. Okay. Psalms 145.5. They speak of the glorious splendor of your majesty, and I will meditate on your wonderful works. Amen. What is that? Psalms 145.5. Psalms 145.5. That's a good one. That is a good one. All right, we're out. We'll see y'all next time right here in the duck call. Right here in the duck call. Sound effects and all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.